Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back, welcome back. I'm super excited for today. I'm uh, Voodoo Vow, I'm gonna be your host for this segment and I am joined by the wonderful and lovely Shauna Lynn Penchezen. Um, we've had a really awesome lineup uh, uh, so far today and we have some more awesome streams to come uh, as, as the day goes on. Uh, we're gonna be here um, for three days. Um, maybe we can pull up the schedule, kind of look at uh, what we're gonna be doing. Uh, we had uh, Temi um, and Paul uh, earlier this morning um, who are working on some awesome um, posters. Shauna Lynn is with me um, right now. We're gonna do some really epic uh, Harry Potter illustrations. Jake Armstrong is coming up <laughs> with some animation and we're gonna have Reza um, uh, later on uh, today with me, um, and we're going to be working on uh, some awesome comic strips. So it's going to be going to be a really great day. I'm super excited to jump into it. Um, but maybe uh, for now, Shauna, you can kind of uh, introduce yourself yeah. a little bit, and we can uh, pull up some of your awesome artwork and look at it. Awesome. Yeah. Hi guys. I'm seeing like all these all, like bunch of people in the chat that I know. Hi everyone. Yes. Um, yeah, so I'm Shauna Lynn. I'm a hand lettering artist and illustrator in Orlando, soon to be Chicago, Illinois. Surprise, I'm moving. Uh -huh. um, I will be relocating on Halloween to, to on the Halloween. Midwest. That is a very, um, very magical, ominous moving day. It is. I'm well, actually excited about that for you. <laughs> yeah, like what it was is like trying to figure out when to go. I have to, like, I'm gonna have to pay my rent through whenever they rent out my place. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, I'm gonna have to pay November probably anyways, mm -hmm. but if I if I leave October 31st, it's a 22 hour drive. Oh, it's gonna man. be, uh, it's gonna take me two days because I'm gonna stay overnight somewhere because I'm not doing that straight through. Mm -hmm. And then I have to be up in Chicago by November 6th because I'm seeing Josh Groban in concert. Oh, so you've got, you've got a lot of extra, uh, excellent, uh, exciting yeah. stuff ahead of you. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, my mama and I are gonna go see him in concert in Chicago, so I'm excited. But yeah, so um, I'm a hand lettering artist and illustrator. I've been doing this for about six years full time, mm -hmm. been hand lettering for a long time. My sister found stuff from like when I was a kid that I used to letter. Um, and I'm slowly kind of like making my way into some character illustration too and just really pushing kind of what I do on a daily basis. These penguins are, are definitely um, amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm really digging the characters you've been doing lately, and the, these are fantastic. I want them all to be my spirit animal. They can, <laughs> they can be all your spirit animal. Excellent. Yeah, those are on like the, when <laughs> iOS, um, and app, like when Apple released the iOS messengers mm -hmm. apps, like I dove in to learn how to do them. So like the first set I did were like lettering stickers and then I did these like penguins and I did a fall set and um, ultimately like ended up getting, I got Sid in on it, which mm -hmm. sparked the trash stuffs thing. Oh and, man. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm a, like inadvertently kind of responsible for that and I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, don't be sorry at all. They're fantastic. <laughs> um, yeah, but so it's, it's been a lot of fun, but I've also had a lot of opportunities just in recent um, months because I have been coaching at the Ice Factory of Central Florida um, to kind of help revamp their signage for things because mm -hmm. we're trying to really build a learn to skate program and get, get people going. So I asked my skate director if I could have at it mm -hmm. and they let me. So I used, I've been using Adobe Stock to put together these posters. Those skates were white. I am proud of this, and I'm going to point it out every time I show people. I would never have guessed. So you yeah. did a fantastic job. I used to work in um, in a in a for a fashion brand, mm -hmm. and I was the one that did like the signage for the store and a lot of color correcting and things. So, like I'd have to like change the color of a tank top in a in a picture. Oh, but nice. By changing the color of the tank top, I'd have to change the brick wall behind it because it didn't match anymore. So mm -hmm. I learned a lot about like color correcting and like photo manipulation just working there. Well, it looks great. I, I am horrible at those things. Like, yeah. I can draw you a thing, but I can't make it look like it yeah. was photos, like like taking a photo that way. I cannot yeah. do that. <laughs> it's, it's hard for sure, I won't lie. Hey, Dana. <laughs> There's so many awesome people in chat. Hello, Tim. Hey, Tim. <laughs> this feels so weird being on camera while Tim is in chat, but. I know. <laughs> and Heidi and Kathleen and Jordan, yeah, it's good to see you guys. Everyone. So many regulars in chat, as well as some as some new names. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Sean is also the Minister of Ice Skating. Yes, the I Minister am. of Ice Skating. That's a nice title. I like it. The Minister of, of Ice Skating, relocating yeah. on, on Halloween. This mm -hmm. is like 
some pretty some pretty awesome stuff happening. It is. <laughs> yeah. Well, like this little piece here, I. Oh, there we go. Ha. Speaking of Halloween. Speaking of Halloween. <laughs> yeah, I actually have repurposed those little guys into a poster for the rink for a uh, Halloween trick-or-treat skate, and I added little skates to their feet. They're so cute. I can't handle them. I have to add something to the ghost tail, though. I think I'm going to draw a little skate boot on, on A little the skate boot? A little, a, little, a little ghost boot? Just oh, a, man. A little, little ghost boot. Oh, I love it. I love uh, their facial expressions, and I like their little hands. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Um... Yeah, it's it's super fun. Like I've I've had a lot of fun really exploring things over the last few months with like kind of character illustration and stuff. And like if I can't think of things to draw, I default to Disney and Harry Potter because why not? Yes. Mm hmm. Oh, I'm very excited about today. By yeah. the way, I um, am too. This is one of the ones that I was looking at earlier though that I just loved so much. Why don't we talk about this one? Because this is yeah. really awesome. So this was. Just over a month ago, I did this project. I got the email on August 1st, so on my sister's birthday, I was um, sitting and like quoting this project for them. To, mm -hmm. And it was one where they're like, they said, if, you know, we really want you to do this, and if you're, you know, but it, you'd have to be available like right away, you'd mm -hmm. have to do 40 illustrations over the weekend. Gosh. Um, and then we would fly you out to New York City and you would do additional illustrations on site during the Samsung um, uh, live event they had. Wow. Because they were announcing the Galaxy Note 9. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, so they, I mean, it was, it was boom, boom, boom. I've, ne I've, it's been a long time since I've had a project come through and, and happen that quickly. And just have to just get on it. Yeah, just... like once we agreed to a price, they, overnighted me a Galaxy Note 8 and they mm -hmm. said you have to do it on this. Oh wow, so that oh that's really cool though. Yeah, and I, really so neat. I got that and I had about 24 hours to kind of learn how to do it before I had before I got all the copy and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I used Adobe Sketch for it. Mm -hmm. And um, ended up doing as much as I could to learn that cuz with Sketch you're only you can only do 5 layers on the phone. Oh, okay. Like on it depends how much I guess space you have to work with on the tablet that you're working on and that one only allowed for five um five wow. layers and one of them would get taken up because i had to create a white background so this was like a lot of like really exciting sort of maneuvering trying to yeah um, kind of get this this done that's really cool though yeah, and this was like it's a lot looser than i normally do because they're like all these we need them to be done in like 10 minutes or less mm -hmm. because oh, they're man. like we don't want you to spend a lot of time on them we don't want them to be super um detailed mm -hmm. so I had to go very simple and I couldn't do a, like a lot of the lettering I do I couldn't easily do on that so it was a lot more bubble lettering yeah and that was what was able to be done really quickly but it looks awesome I just love them they're all very cohesive and I'm like we were kind of talking earlier like the the cats yeah the cats are killing me the little, the little no cat is just I love him he's yeah. like ah. he's, he's got a, a corresponding yes and a no and I love it but I love it because it was for the trolls so it's like They'd say something trolly, and I and I just had the cat and goes no no <laughs> no. I want I want one. I wish I had like a card so that I could hold it up to people if I yeah. encounter trolls in person. Ooh, no. <laughs> can we make something like that happen for your stream? We we totally should do that. I actually would love it. Or like a like a can command, we, a command we, of sorts. I'm gonna make one today. We'll do one today, and then we'll have it on stream for tomorrow. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is um, kind of a, an awesome look into yeah. um, Shauna's work. And um, we can pull some some other stuff up a little bit. Um, uh, later too, but I just wanted to do um, some quick reminders for you guys. Um, uh, as always, we have got the uh, chat and win um, going on today um, at about the uh, the 30 minute mark. Uh, we're going to be giving away um, a really awesome uh, uh, prize today that Ooh. you guys have never seen before. Check this out. This is so awesome. Tatley's I've got like the awesome. whole thing. Yes. So we've got like a cool um, Tatley uh, package uh, for one um, lucky active um, uh, chat. Um, over here on Behance. If you guys um, are viewing this over on YouTube, um, please head over to behance.net slash live um, because this is where we are reading the chat and this is where you will need to be active for your chance to win. Um, we also have um, some awesome challenges and stuff happening today. Um, if you guys are interested in uh, checking out um, the 
the challenge that's going on um, right now. Um, you guys can head up to the challenge tab um, up at the top of the uh, chat pod for some details on what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be um, mixing together the body parts of humans and animals to create um, an illustration, which is really, really cool. Um, and obviously there will be another one tomorrow, uh, which you guys will get more details on um, if you come and visit us tomorrow, and then portfolio reviews on, um, on Thursday. Um, and we also have the daily creative challenges going on as well, so um, definitely check out the daily creative challenges. Um, you guys uh, may have seen uh, the stream that happened just before Paul's, that happened before ours. Um, that was really fun, um, so definitely uh, stay tuned for more information on that. Um, but you are going to be working on a really fantastic mm -hmm. illustration today that I am super excited about. Why don't yeah. you tell us a little bit about what you've got going on? So, I, like I said earlier, I'm a huge fan of Disney and Harry Potter and trying to come up with something that I want to do on the stream. I've had an idea for a while that I wanted to take Harry Potter and kind of adjust it to be like a kid's board book, which with how big the books are, it's actually almost impossible to do because those things would be like this thick. Mm -hmm. But the, so, oh, the Shauna's shoulder wiggles. This is gonna be good. <laughs> I picked this up from my sister. My sister does this where she's like, I'm so excited. And she does this like little shoulder wiggle thing. Um, I may adopt it for yeah, today. I like it. We're twinsies, so we, are we twinsies might as well. We are twinsies with our crystal and yeah. our... Oh, yes. Like, we are, we're twinning today. Yep. Um, totally, totally by accident, too. Yeah. She posted a, a <laughs> selfie, and I was like, oh, hey. <laughs> kind of we wearing the almost thing. the same thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I I had it. So actually, I'm, let me pull up the first... Um, let me see if I got. Come in. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here. We're going to find my preliminary sketches. Here we go. So this is what I started with. Um, and I pulled like four different, or three different quotes that I, I love from the series. So one was, give her hell for us peeves. And that's when uh, Fred and George are flying out of the school and the, um, and Umbridge had been in charge and was was decreeing all these things, and so they just kind of exploded everything. Mm -hmm. And if I remember right from the book, like Peeves actually salutes as they leave. Mm -hmm. um, other one is, of course, your wizard Harry, which is, you know, so hey, iconic. Yeah, yeah, it is. Just, and then of course my my absolute favorite quote of the entire book series is Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of Number Four Privet Drive were proud to say that they were perfectly normal. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. As the first line of. Um, the uh, Sorcerer's Stone, and it's by far like my favorite quote because the way it's said is just so perfectly the Dursley family. Oh, I agree. I, I remember reading the book for the first time and, and reading that line and just mm -hmm. thinking, oh, this they're about good. to prove this all wrong too. I could just feel it and I was so excited and it's, it is, you're right, it is like worded so wonderfully. That, it um, is. Yeah, so like, also a great one. <laughs> yeah, and like that, it, I got into Harry Potter when I was like in sixth or seventh grade because my art teacher used to read it to us while we were working. Mm -hmm. And so he would, he'd take the book out and he just started reading the, the uh, Sorcerer's Stone to us and that was my gateway. Awesome. I couldn't even wait till the next day. I, I, t I went home and I was like, mom, I need this book. I, I need, need to know what happens next. <laughs> And he did voices and everything too. It was amazing. Um, but so with this, with this one, the this would be like a two-page spread. And ultimately, I've kind of I fleshed out both of them. I was considering maybe doing kind of a, a poll to see like what people would rather see. Mm -hmm. um, we can kind of, if you want to number them, yeah, we could get me, um, some people uh, in chat kind of saying which one they so would prefer. This um, is one. Also, um, if you don't mind, uh, Bava was, is wondering about your fancy double keyboard. Um, okay, yeah. Which uh, which keyboard is that? It is the mic. It's a Microsoft keyboard. Awesome. And it's just a little like folding oh, it travel That's keyboard. So cool. Yeah, and it it's Bluetooth. You charge it up. You can use it with your phone. You can use your computer. That is wonderful. Um, let me see if it actually. Let me see if it's working. Yep. Very cool. Yeah. So I like I'm at a point where I kind of. 
ultimately like do everything with one hand. Mm -hmm. I, I don't generally use this, but it's good to have if I want to just do like quick moving and switch keys really quick for the sake of today. Very cool, very cool. So um, you may see me just not even using it, but it's here if I need it. Just in case. Um, yeah. I, I, I would usually have to have it for like hotkeys because I'm a hotkey fiend. So just in I case am too. I, the, the mood strikes me. Yeah, I will say the hard, the one really hard thing with this is I, I work on a Mac desktop at home. Mm -hmm. And so control and alt are commanded. Oh yeah. And oh, all yeah. and they're switched and so I'm constantly hitting the wrong button. That does throw me off as well. Yeah. Sometimes everyone's because I'm I'm I actually work predominantly PC. So yeah. so jumping into using a Mac, I'm just like, why is my yeah. stuff not working? What is happening? Why is everything wrong? <laughs> and then I realized that I'm the problem and I'm yeah. like, oh <laughs> Exactly. Um, there was also a question um, asking which uh, tablet you're using yeah. right now, because someone noticed it was not um, like a, a Cintiq, so. Yeah, I'm on a Surface Pro 4. Awesome. Um, it's, it's hooked up kind of right now, so it's a, it's not as like easy to show, but. There we go. Yeah, but it's nice, it's lightweight, it's got a little kickstand. I don't ever use the kickstand because I like to like lean on my thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I really, I really like it. I have a screen protector on it because otherwise it's glass and I don't like how the pen feels on glass. Mm -hmm. It makes me a little nervous, honestly, like I'm gonna scratch it or break it or I did, I'm really hard on my, my pen. So. I, I did that to my, I have a Cintiq 13 at home oh, and I, no. I had a pen that had been kind of like worn down to like an angle mm -hmm. and I got it and I hadn't put a screen protector on it yet and I went to go right with it and it had just slightly turned and it scratched the, and I was, it was just one of those like, I literally just got it, I was like, no. Oh no. So I didn't touch it till I got the screen protector back on it. Oh man. But That's... I use an anti-glare one, so it's got a little bit of grip and I've heard like, you can get one called Paper Light mm -hmm. for yes. Apple um, iPads mm -hmm. and I'm curious about how well that one works. Okay. So. I, I've heard I've heard some people who have used that too, and I hear nothing but good things. But I myself Same. have not actually tried it. I just it looks buy like the cheap one. On we Amazon. actually have a straw pull in there, so you're Sweet. just going between those two. Um, yeah, just okay. the two. Because as two. much as I love Hagrid, he's going to be a, a beast to draw, and I don't want to <laughs> spend three days drawing hair. Yes. Um, All right, I'm going to actually pull that up and yeah, see yeah, let's if see we how can... this is doing. I would have died. Yeah, I kind of did when I when I scratched. I was like, no, no. I'm gonna cry, my baby. <laughs> oh wow, number one is winning. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. So should we cut it off in like maybe 30 seconds? Um, yeah, probably. Okay. You're endorsed by Snapper Paper Light, great product. Oh, cool. That's good to know, Rob. Very cool. Yeah. That's yeah. If you awesome. guys, if you guys uh, have a preference, definitely um, check out the straw poll link yeah. um, and cast your vote. Yeah, I, yeah. Back to like the Surface Pro. Like I love it. It's great for travel. Um, my younger sister got the Cintiq or the Wacom Mobile Studio recently. It's a great piece of equipment, but it's so heavy. Oh man. Especially compared to this, because like if you lift this, it's like it's maybe two pounds. Mm -hmm. And with the amount of traveling I do, I like to take care of my back and my body. Yeah. And got I, to. Got to. Yeah. And so. Like I used to carry, I used to have the um, Cintiq Companion One, mm -hmm. and that thing was, it was heavy. And it was just, it was at a point where like, I, my back was killing me and then mm -hmm. the, the charging port broke, so I had to send it off for repairs anyways, and I ended up investing in this and I I never turned it back. Wow, okay. Um, how's the latency? It actually is like, the only time I really get any lag is if I'm working off battery and, let me see if I can, um, I've got, so the battery setting here, like you can choose how much you want it working. Oh, wonderful. So I, like the other day it was lagging and I was like, why, why is it lagging? And I was on battery power and I realized it was set to power mode here. Mm -hmm. And so when I brought it up to the highest power mode, no more lag. Also, it looks like uh, we definitely have a winner. Number one, it looks like is is what it is going to be. Cool. So, because that's what we were gonna go with, regardless. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> we were talking about that. Where we were like, oh, it looks like the voting has gone with this one. Let's just do this one. <laughs> yeah. I see you all want to do this one, so we're gonna do this one instead. Yeah. <laughs> um, Thank you for your opinion, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what I've done just to save time, because we only have like an hour and a half on here, mm -hmm. I went and I started to flesh it out so I can actually show you guys just start to finish where it 
began. She's gonna Martha Stewart us right now. That's I am what's happening. like, <laughs> this is what we're doing, and then here's our pie. Um, <laughs> yes, exactly. This is what it would look like if you spent an hour. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, there we go. So this was the like absolute very beginning. Like this was pulled from that previous document, mm -hmm. and it's I mean like a nose and yeah, like the nose. I so, love it though. It was just to get the rough idea of where I was going, and then I started to kind of flesh out the lettering a bit where I do what I call a skeleton. Mm -hmm. So I'll turn that one off so you can see this. So I do just like skeleton just to lay out where the letters are gonna go and how they're gonna fit together. Very cool. And then, where is, what letters is, oh, so I also like, I wanna demonstrate this symmetry tool um, because Photoshop has a symmetry tool now, and you have to go, I think, into your preferences to turn it on. Yeah, if you go, if it's, you go into preferences, um, and then you go to, let's see, yeah. You wanna go to preferences, and then you wanna go to technology preview. Yeah. Um, and then there should be a little box that yeah, says enable, enable paint, paint symmetry. symmetry. Yeah, right there. So um, that's what, yeah, so this is like, I'm gonna create a new layer for this, cause I'm gonna show you like how awesome this is. So you can set it up where you can make it bigger, smaller, what have you. So we're gonna do that. And then if I draw here. So cool. I could just see like how you could use that for so many things too, like making, um, you know, some cool like filigree-esque kind of borders for things or, yeah. you know, lining up if you're if you're a, a symmetrical portrait kind of person, lining up something or creating, yeah. this looks like a flower that you're working on right now or, or something, it's just beautiful. Yeah, um, I will say there is a little bit of lag um, when it's the four, mm -hmm. but in the grand scheme of things, like it's it works really well. And there's a bunch of different yeah. um, things that you can do too. That's really fun. Yeah. So like for this one, what I ended up doing is I did the circle, mm -hmm. and um, so this is why I have the, the keyboard so I can actually do this because I can't zoom out otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, so I ended up kind of just really making it an oval because I wanted cool. to give my the I wanted to give the art structure. Mm -hmm. So I actually use this more as a guide versus doing like the symmetry. Do you ladies watch the magicians? Oh yes, I do. I don't, but I've been told that I need to. It's really cool. It's very pretty. It's very pretty done. Okay. But it's darker than I expected and kind of like gory, gorier than expected. So a little, little, little creepy, but well, very, still good. Little is an understatement. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like what I did, cause like if I draw here, like you can see, like if I pull, Away. Oh man! Yeah. So very cool. So it even like like grooves it with the um, yeah thing. That is just so cool. So like you can see like on my lines here, I didn't really stick right on it, but you can mm -hmm. kind of use it to trace mm -hmm. just to get an idea of where that would be, and then you just have to go symmetry off, and there's your you know your circle. Your yeah, for sure. So I used that. I'm gonna delete that layer because I don't need it now. Um, so I did that to give the whole piece a bit of structure mm -hmm. so that I had some parameters because otherwise it would be really hard for me to kind of figure out a good composition for it. Very good. Um, also, um, uh, Baba says, uh, you girls are really sweet. It's 11.20 uh, p.m. in India and I'm <laughs> not at sleep at all because I'm laughing at you both. Yay, <laughs> we did we're it. having fun, yes, high five. High five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's, so yeah, now I'm like, so what I ended up doing, I started flushing out um, Fred and George and just getting very, very simple, very rough with them. And I was working off this layer. Mm -hmm. So I'll keep that on now so you can kind of see how it builds. Very cool. Um, but each of these characters, I ended up drawing separately because I don't, I didn't want to like, like end up drawing it all on one layer and then mm -hmm. try to like move one. Um, so I started drawing them out and I started adding like little details and things there and I know like as I go, I'm still gonna keep changing things. So then I, on the plane yesterday, drew Peeves because he was the hardest thing and I didn't use a description so he's probably not accurate. Oh, um, he's so cute though, I like him. Yeah, like this is how I've always pictured him in my head and since he's not in the movies, like we don't have an actual thing to go off of. Like he was supposed to be in the movies and mm -hmm. then they cut him. 
I feel like they did a few things like that where all of the, the book fans were like, where? Yeah, and <laughs> with Peeves, he had like, he had a few areas, but he wasn't as pivotal to the movie mm -hmm. with the time they had to use. So like he worked really well in the books, but in the movies they couldn't have made it to where he was more pivotal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I added him in. Some, and then along the way, I actually had moved um, the lettering down mm -hmm. and adjusted the, the sizing of it so it kind of fit the space better. Right on. So this was all done on the plane yesterday, and then I went in and I started to kind of flush it out more and tighten it. So this is where it's at now. And Very so we're cool. gonna keep working on this part on stream and like work on getting everything kind of fleshed out and, and tight. And then tomorrow we'll do color and details. And I'm so excited for it. <laughs> Cause we, we, yeah. we were talking about our, our um, Harry Potter fan level, I guess, earlier. We're very yeah. excited. And in fact, speaking of which, we have got our chat and win coming up here um, in less than four minutes, at which point we definitely want to hear everybody's Harry Potter house. And you can what do, we're going to have to do. <laughs> yeah, and you can do Hogwarts or Ilvamorny. So, Ooh. yeah. You're getting real fancy with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, they've been, they've introduced Fantastic Bees and where to find them. And so she has like, now we have the American school, Ilvermorny, and here's your, <laughs> here's your house options. I think I'm a Thunderbird. Thunderbird? I think that's I'll, what I, I think I'll always, as. I'll always be Slytherin. I Same. just have to. Yeah. I Classic think Slytherin. I, I did that test. There's like that 60 question test you can do mm -hmm. where you can find out kind of what your combo houses, or like if oh, you gotcha. if you really lean towards something, like Ravenpuff, like that yeah. sort of thing. <laughs> I'm I, I, and I think I'm like a Slitherclaw. I'm slightly more Slytherin than Ravenclaw. Gotcha, so gotcha. I've always just identified with Slytherin though. Because Slytherin, they're the they're like the best dressed though. Like they like are. <laughs> I mean, look at Draco. He's like yeah. <laughs> like we both went for the hair flip. <laughs> We're on the same page, guys. We're on the, the very same page. Val and I used to, when we when I used to be on Adobe Twitch, Val was one of our mods. And then I think you also streamed for Adobe Twitch mm -hmm. a lot too. Yeah. And so she and I got to know each other on internet. And now we have like real life friendship. Yes, we got like, to meet for the first time yesterday. And it was fantastic. Um, the, the name of the tool, you mean the uh, paint symmetry tool? Do you want me to show where to activate that again? Yeah. You wanna, okay. You want to go for it? Yeah. So you'll go to Kabbalah. yeah. You go to edit. You go to preferences, and you'll go to technology previews, and then you just have to enable it right up here. It's this third option, um, and you can actually. So if you're working on a tablet like this, you can use modifier keys pal, and that's this little guy right here in the on the uh, left. Mm -hmm. So when I'm not using a keyboard, if I want to adjust something, I can hit shift, and it'll hold a shift button for me. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so like if I were to like. That's super useful. Yeah, so I'll do it quickly with just this little line I started. So I can go to um, free transform and free transform path, what's, what? Hang on. Oh, no, okay, hang on. Let me start a new layer for this guy. So if I draw like a line here and I go to edit, free transform, there we go. I can hit shift and hold. Oh, that's so convenient. Yeah. It's, that is awesome. It's really nice. And then of course on this, you can also like slide your fingers to backspace. And I've accidentally done it before where I've done like 10 backspaces at once without realizing it. Yeah, I do that on, on the the iPad as well. Yeah. Where I, I accidentally delete things and remove things. Um, it's very easy until you get used to it being like the touch um, right. thing, so. Um, wow. Yeah. Don't Leon nice. said earlier, ah, oh, friends. Friends. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and like Leon and I were also in that same boat where we were internet friends mm -hmm. and then we met at Max and we we're like, hey, it's you. I literally did a dance and I realized after I started like dancing up to her, I was like, oh yeah, I've never met this person yeah. in real life. This might be a weird thing to be doing. <laughs> and I was like, well, you <laughs> gotta own it. Gotta just do it. <laughs> I, always so, love your, I always love your stream dancer. You're like, oh yeah. Because I can't like like full body dance like when you can only yeah. see me from here up, so I have to like go for it like that. Yeah. <laughs> but 
but it is almost time for our chat and win. We've got about 10 seconds left. I'm super, super excited. Yes. Um, so, uh, tattoos. Yes, it's gonna be great. I'm really excited for uh, for this giveaway because this is like something that we've never we've never yeah. done before. So this is gonna be awesome. Um, but we are going to um, play uh, an awesome video for you guys. We got fireworks going, yes. Um, it's gonna be awesome and I wanna see um, everybody's uh, Harry Potter house, um, even if they're hybrids or the... the Elver Morning. Yes. So. I love I love that animation so much. It's, I know it's, it's the so coolest fun. thing. It reminds me of like Galaga yeah. or like all of the yes. I love that you know this. We are this is great. We're kindred spirits. <laughs> well, we've got so many um, Raven Ooh, claws in chat. Actually, House Voldemort. House Voldemort. Just can Voldemort we do that? Was a Slytherin. Can we just make our own our own house? Just be House House um, Bellatrix. <laughs> can we just like where we house all Sith. dress like that? Oh, House Sith. Listen. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> Be still, my heart. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we are going to um, wait for our, our winner um, mm -hmm. uh, to pop up here. Um, House I, Adobe. Okay, we've got we've got more Slytherins coming in. I'm I'm happy because I was about to be yeah. like, where are my folks at? Where know, are they where at? Where are my people? <laughs> I know. Well, it's funny because there's a few people that are like House Adobe, and I'm like, this sounds like Game of Thrones. Yeah. House Adobe. Yeah. I need like a big like like coat. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we have our our winner. Yay! Congratulations. Do you want to read our our name? Congratulations, Cynthia DaCosta. Woo! -hoo! Congratulations. Woo! Uh, so uh, just uh, keep an eye on your um, your Behance messages. We are going to. Send Send a, a message to you um, mm -hmm. pretty soon with details on how you can claim your prize. All of this Dude. awesome, wonderful stuff. I'm so excited for you. It's going to be epic. Yes. Tatleys are so cool. Like they, they've done so many really neat things with mm -hmm. temporary tattoos that I never thought was even possible. Like I, yeah, I live near like Winter Park where uh, Rifle Paper Co is based, mm -hmm. and so they came out with temporary tattoos where, that are gold. Yes, I have and seen those. And they're shiny, and I've used them. So I started cosplaying recently, and I was a, a princess Allura from Voltron, and I wanted to go and get like the metallic, like shiny, like alien marks that she has, and do like the diamond on her forehead and everything with those. I was like, if I could like order like some custom stuff from them, I could like they do soup custom up more custom. I'm so excited about yeah, it. Yeah, as think... soon as I saw that, my nerd brain was like, oh, I could yeah. be a better alien girl with these. <laughs> <laughs> we need we need Adobe Live. Yeah. Tats. Yes. Can we make this? I would happen? get one. Yeah. I think we could. I, I think we like, could. I feel like we need and we need to put it like on our forearm. Yeah. If or we on like our upper arm and we can be like yeah. If we stuck our lips out and batted our eyes like Gus. <laughs> please, <Yeah>. please, please, please. <laughs> we need them. Can has? I, I can has. <laughs> I, I want. Does want? <laughs> the Netflix series. Yes. <laughs> House, House Adobe, Rise of the Pen Tool. House Adobe. Should make like a Harry whole Potter. Saga. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. This is Harry Potter. And the Potter. Battle of the Pen Tool. Yes. Yes. Oh man. Is that someone like? This is the Harry Potter website. Yeah, Pottermore. That would Pottermore would be a dream client for me. Somebody um, earlier said that their favorite Harry Potter spell was Adobe Kadabra. <laughs> and I'm into it because is, is that the one that crashes the app? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we've been like trying to like keep like reiterating and going back to Adobe Kadabra because it's so fantastic. I think that that's the that's the app crash spell. Yes. Yep. Yeah. The the you you better hope you saved or have the auto recover uh, um, set up for yourself. Otherwise, you may cry. Exactly. You may. You may. Um, but yeah, so I want to do a, a quick reminder real quick. We've got about 20 minutes until the um, challenge submission uh, deadline, and I'm oh, super already? excited to see what you guys are doing. I know, so so soon already. Um, but uh, we had some really fantastic submissions uh, for the, um, the last segment. I'm super stoked to see what you guys have submitted. For those of you guys who don't know um, about the challenge that's going on, um, if you guys click the um, uh, challenge tab uh, above the chat pod, um, there's all the details that you need um, in there. Um, basically what we are doing um, is we are like kind of combining humans and animals. 
um, today, which has been really fantastic so far. Um, been a lot some of fantastic entries. Seriously, it's some really, really creative, um, awesome uh, pieces, and I can't wait to see what else you guys do. Um, also, uh, for those of you guys who didn't know, we do have daily creative challenges um, still going on as well. Um, doing um, some awesome XD stuff. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, um, definitely um, join the Daily, daily Creative Challenge uh, Slack um, and uh, tune in early um, on uh, the days that we're streaming um, this week because we've got a, a nice little um, pre-stream for you guys um, where we uh, go over the details and do some work for that as well. So, Voodoo Val Potter, <laughs> I'm I, into it. <laughs> I keep seeing like people posting like, you know, alternate like book names and mm -hmm. I came up with one Harry Potter and the Order of the Layers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or the naming of the layers at least just something something about organizing. Adobe <laughs> Potter the layer that lived. <laughs> I'm into it. I love it. JK Rowling, hire us. Hi. <laughs> Hello. We love you. Um you're amazing. We think you're great. I can has work with you. <laughs> love that green Slytherin color. Oh yes. Oh yeah, it's not even intentional. It's like a weird teal. It's but just subconscious at this point. It is. Like I'm just I like to use colors that contrast when I draw. So like I've got um I use the Adobe uh Adobe Capture? Yes. Yes. Oh, I wanted to say magic. Adobe Color and I know that that's not correct, but they have a color section in there. Mm -hmm. And so anytime I find any sort of um like palettes that I like, mm -hmm. I use the app to to save them. Oh yeah. So I have all these palettes that oh, I love. Man, plus look at like you. plus like a bunch of graphics that don't need to be in here. <laughs> I don't know why it defaults there. Anyways. But yeah, and I have at the top here just like my general sketching colors. Very so I'll start cool. with something really light and then I'll use something dark to really flush it out. And this is how I work analog too. <laughs> Color Adobe cough cough. <laughs> Tim throwing throwing the links in there. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Um, no, Adobe Color is really great too. Um, for for Adobe um, Capture though, I love um, going into um, like fabric stores and stuff and looking Ooh. at like pretty fabrics and I will um, get like color combos and make patterns and all kinds of stuff out of like fabrics and things. I need oh to do yeah. That. It's really great. I, I um, have been sort of addicted to um, getting all of the color palettes for all the cool stuff in like a world market or something, you know, with all the oh prints and stuff. Yeah, very fun. That's um, actually brilliant. I super, should do, super there's fun. an antique mall near my parents' house that I should do that in. Oh yeah, that would be that would be a blast. I found I found some really fun things there including like some old speedball pen nibs. Really? Yeah. What? They're sitting in my bedroom at my parents' house right now, but like it was three packs of speedball pen nibs and it's in the old packaging and like with the <gasps> so offset cool. print. It's like, oh, I, like I found it and I went to my mom. She, she and I love to go walk around the antique mall. Mm -hmm. And I go, I'm getting these. Get <laughs> Taking these, mine. Yeah, and I also got um, an old Popsicle ad. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's super cute. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's a little. Is it like one of the metal or like tin things? It's, it's paper, but it's like this long by like this wide. Oh, so like the so weird like ratios a, they did. Yeah, <laughs> the like I want to get it ratios. framed. It's so cute. It's got these like the little characters are are super adorable and very um, retro. Mm -hmm. And I just I fell in love with it. And I also found an old. Um, what was it? What is that show that used to tour? It was the Antique Roadshow. No. I used to watch um, that all the time. No, it was uh, <laughs> Ice Capades. Ice Capades. I found an old Ice Capades oh, program. Uh, and I am in love with it. That's so cool. And they have like a um, Sonia Henney autogra autograph in the store there. And which, if no one knows who Sonia Henney is, she's the one that pretty much like put ice skating as some form of career on the map. That's so awesome. Yeah, she was like an act. She ended up acting in a bunch of movies as a figure skater and like did all these insane jumps and spins where she does like a sit spin where she goes up and down and up and down and up and down, which is really freaking hard to do. I have absolutely no coordination aside from walking with one foot in front of the other. So all of it is impossible to me and magical. Yeah. <laughs> I like I look at the, the videos and stuff of people ice skating and I'm like, how even? How, how does this work? I can't. Yeah. I told you I, I tried to ice skate like the one time and and ended up just like sitting on the side, um, eating churros and watching everyone. I did uh, that skate the roller rink. Do it. I can't roller skate, so. Oh, I can. I can rollerblade. I can do that. I can rollerblade and I can use like the quads, but anything on ice, and I'm like, no. Yeah. 
Yeah, but um, I'm useless. Gata says, uh, do you recommend tablet gloves? I, it depends. Like, I don't really end up using them because I, I don't know. I used to use one because it was, um, it helped like kind of let my hands slide across, but mm -hmm. because there's palm rejection on these, I don't really have a need for it. Very cool, very cool. I also don't um, use uh, a glove. Um, and somebody w was asking earlier too, like kind of the, um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Somebody's trying to stop me from hosting. So, some ghost in the studio. We were talking about spooky things earlier and they're oh, coming yeah. for us. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's the coast of was, Baltimore. Past. Somebody was asking us um, if we liked the Surface better or the iPad better. I actually yeah. use the iPad and Apple Pencil while you yeah. use that. So. And I have an iPad Pro. Do you? I like it for sketching. I can't. I still can't wrap my head around doing final client work in it. Really? I I so. actually like kind of pushed into being able to do like final paintings in it. It just took yeah. a lot of maneuvering and stuff. Yeah. With. Um, it just like kind of feels weird to like be sitting on your couch and like, yeah. oh yeah, this is almost done. And then you're like, what? But um, it's, I actually really like the the weight and the the um, feel of the Apple mm -hmm. pencil um, I, I better do. than the Surface pencil. Yeah, so. it's it's balanced really nicely. Mm -hmm. Cause, I'm, Cause like I do really like the, I love, I really like sketching in it. It's mm -hmm. just like, anything else it's and it's so much because I've grown up working in Photoshop and mm -hmm. I'm so Photoshop that like trying to do anything outside of that mm -hmm. it just feels a little awkward yeah it doesn't make sense in my brain because I and I don't like that I can't like change the size of what I'm working on yep because that's yep. a lot of the, like I think that's a lot of the handicap when it comes to that mm -hmm. but um it is like but I do use it for sketching mm -hmm. and I love the playback mm -hmm. And I think that's really awesome because I can, I love watching the video back. Yes. Cause I'm yep, like, look yep, how yep. awesome this is. And I've, I've recently, personally recently found that I absolutely love using like Illustrator Draw and stuff okay. too, which I wasn't using before. And then I actually saw them um, using it on Adobe Live and was like, man, I need to try that out. And it was spectacular. So oh. I love to do that. Um, but then I think um, I always end up returning to my desktop. Yeah. usually to finish things. Um, I could, you know, kind of push it into final with the mobile and stuff, but um, I typically will like start something on the iPad and then move into full Photoshop. Yeah, and, um, I've done that with sketches and I, I'll use like Procreate usually because mm -hmm. I have to put Adobe Draw on there mm -hmm. um, or Adobe Sketch on there. Mm -hmm. But like I created some brushes in there that I I use that because mm -hmm. that I my thing is like I've made my brushes so I want them to feel like my Photoshop brushes. Mm -hmm. So like that's why when I did the Samsung project, I really liked that I could pull my Photoshop brushes into there. Yeah, and so I ended up using like my own stuff through the whole thing, which was really fun because then I didn't have to learn another new thing. Oh yeah, totally, and, and that, that was, makes it easy. And you did like a lot of different new things for that specifically. So yeah, being as familiar as you could with certain things is probably for the best. Yeah, um, I you know speaking of the brushes that that um, they have actually, I went and like because I liked the brushes so much, but I can never stay like I I can never stay away from Photoshop yeah. for too long because it's my my true love. Honestly, right. um, so I went and did like a pack of brushes um, that are like dupes of the of the other brushes from the other programs. So I was like, I have them all here. This is wonderful. That's <laughs> so I just awesome. use those for my sketching. Um, uh, what is your advice when it comes to character design? This is awesome because oh. you just started really getting into character design and stuff. So how has that been for you? It's been a challenge. <laughs> um, a lot of it is because like I tend to compare myself a lot to like artists I, I like. Mm -hmm. So I'll look at other artists that I whose work I enjoy, like Kim Smith, um, Joey Chu, Brittany Lee, mm -hmm. uh, Gabby Zapata, Zapata um, who else was this? And Shen. And like a lot of them do character work mm -hmm. and I, really like how they do it. So what I've done is actually I've just kind of studied like how they do them, mm -hmm. but also looked at a lot of work too. Like, you know, I love looking at mid-century modern stuff and they're very, um, sort of like for like geometrical mm -hmm. in, how they, in how they make it happen. So it's a lot of shapes. And I, like when I learned to draw, I learned how to draw realistically. So mm -hmm. trying to go against everything I learned with that mm -hmm. is really hard. So doing them like my little Halloween characters. I love them so yeah, much, I'm it, in love. <laughs> Like that, it was 
kind of where I finally had a little bit of a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. But I've been doing it for a few months now behind the scenes where I've not done a lot of that. Mm -hmm. But like I did a little selfie of myself where I'm sitting in like a chair. Very and cool. Did, and that was kind of like my first kind of jump into it where I, was, I finally decided I'm gonna sit down and I'm actually gonna do this. Mm -hmm. And so I've forced myself to to really just really get into it and do it. I think you're doing yeah. a fantastic job. Like I was saying to you before, I think that you have a really wonderful balance of like a new sort of style and new content that you're starting to share, as well as you know really adding in a lot of the elements and techniques that you use for your your lettering and everything. And I think yeah. it's really working out. I love it. I think that's where it was really hard, is because I wanted my lettering and the characters to mesh. Mm -hmm. I didn't want them to feel like two separate entities. Yeah. So like I was getting, I was kind of getting a hang of the character work, but it wasn't at the level of lettering yet. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of the more recent stuff is is a lot of character work, a lot of things that I hadn't done before. Um, and like, should we pull it up on the screen? Yeah, maybe? I wonder if we can pull up. Um, yeah. The uh, yeah. There we, there we go. go. Look at Boo. So and like, I. it's a little caricature-ish, but I'm I'm learning to use like shapes and start with very basic shapes and then modify on top of that. But I think you've like it really does look like it all belongs in the same uh, the same illustration, the same composition here. Yeah. Um, and it and it's really nice. It's got that nice texture mm -hmm. and like I, I like your lines and stuff for your detailing is very reminiscent of the same lines and textures that you're putting in your your letter and I think yeah. it, it works really good. Yeah. I'm into it. It's, I, I, I finally kind of hit that balance and that's why I'm really excited about it. Like this little guy I love, the Capricorn. He's so cute. The Murgoat. <laughs> the Murgoat. <laughs> I have to, I want to do more because I was doing like a series of like crystals um, and doing like the metaphysical properties of those mm -hmm. and then I was like, I'm going to do the Zodiac too and I did him and haven't touched any others. Oh, I'm so excited for it though. If you turn that into a series, I would love to check those out. Yeah, I'm more than like I'm going to. It's just like making the time to sit down and do it. And do them, yeah. Because it's one of those where like the blank page is super intimidating. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it's getting over that mentality and like really forcing yourself to sit down and do it. And like if I could give any advice, it would be like look at references and then put them away. And, like, and then kind of do your thing. Yeah, because mm -hmm. like if, like I tried my best to not look at Pinterest and stuff because that's when I start to get the, the comparison monster thing happening mm -hmm. and then I overthink everything. And so if I just force myself to step away from Pinterest and, and step away from a bunch of stuff, then I will, I kind of start to have a breakthrough. But I have to sit and I have to draw and I have to force myself to keep drawing until something happens. Right, right. Yeah, I, I, it reminds me of something um, my my brother told me actually he's a musician and he said sometimes you just have to go and make your own thing because you get that he's he's like I'll get yeah. that bug where I'm like oh I have to make music but then what he'll do instead is he'll go listen to music and it kind of gives you that like feeling of like oh you know of, of creation of succeeding when you didn't make something yourself yeah. so you have to really watch like how much of that you're taking in because you might pass that threshold where you've gone from being inspired to now just consuming great art instead of making your own content yeah yeah and that's very true it's and it's very easy to like get intimidated by others work especially if they're doing kind of what you picture your stuff getting to that level of mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and I and like Anything you start, like you have to go through that really awkward teenage phase mm -hmm. where there's a great, um, who's that, who's that quote, who's that quote by, um, Ira Glass. There's a fantastic Ira Glass quote where it's about like when you start out, like your taste is there, you know what looks good, but your skills aren't quite there and you end up having a lot of pushback mm -hmm. because you feel like you know what it, you know what you want it to look like, but you can't make it look like that yet. Yeah. You have to keep pushing and it keep there. doing it until it works because eventually what you can do is gonna match your taste. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's an awkward teenage phase that you have to go through. And sometimes it feels like you'll never really get there, you know, especially when yeah. you're, like if you are consuming so much of like other people's work or you have that right in front of you while you're trying to make your thing. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes that can really kind of discourage you because your final product won't look like the people that you admire, yeah. you know, and but you will. If you keep on it, you, you get there at, after a while. You right. Know? And a lot of it too is like, you know, you stare at the thing that you've been working on forever and ever. Mm -hmm. And so you're always gonna be super critical of what you make. Mm -hmm. So like, there's a lot of things, I'll make it and I'm like, this sucks. Mm -hmm. And other but, people are like, oh, this is great. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, why? 
So again, I, so, and like, it helps that I have a few people that I, I inherently trust to tell me if something looks bad so mm -hmm. I can bounce it off them and get honest feedback. Mm -hmm. And usually, and a lot of times it happens to be, I've just been staring at it way too long. So. Yeah, that's sometimes you have to take a break, which is for, for me, what I do whenever I stare at something too long is I flip my canvas. Yeah. It's kind of like the, the, the quick, like, version of getting up and taking a break, you know, oh, yeah. and, and uh, coming back to look at something with fresh eyes. Um, but also sometimes you have to worry that you're not actually working yourself into, like, exhaustion. Um, you have to make sure, yeah. like, as an artist, it's easy to just think, you know, like, oh, you can just sit down for a long time because you're not doing, you know, it's not like manual labor or whatever, but you yeah. gotta make sure that you take care it's, of yourself, get up, stretch, yeah. you know, and take it's, a deep it's breath. And it's a lot of like, it's it, it's not necessarily physical, mm -hmm. it's a lot of hands and, and mm -hmm. stuff, but like, it's it's mentally, it is, it's very exhausting mm -hmm. because you're constantly. Very mentally taxing. And for us, you know, we're, I don't know about you, like I'm constantly thinking of things. Always, I can Always. never shut it off. Mm -hmm. So like I learned that I have to like sit and play Splatoon or something to get my mind off of everything mm -hmm. so that I stop trying to create in my head. Awesome, yeah, that's, you, you kind of have to, you have to kind of learn learn yourself, right? And know what exactly is gonna pull you out of that zone yeah. and help you recharge a little bit. Um, because otherwise, if you're stuck in that, as you called it, the awkward teenage phase yeah. of your work, um, uh, and you don't know how to pull away from it and recharge, you can inadvertently cause yourself to stay in that part of your journey for longer yeah. than needed, I and, think. And you end up in creative burnout, and then yep. you wonder, like, why am I not doing, you know, why is this not getting better? Why is it? And it's like, step back. Let it happen, mm -hmm. let it do its thing. Like when you were a teenager, you wanted everything to work out right then and there and you mm -hmm. had to step back and let it happen. Learn how to be patient and you know, learn how to take the wise road, you know? Yeah. <laughs> learn. Um, but yeah, it's very much that just, I, I guess like like all things in life, it, it takes some time to get through and um, there's ways that you can go about it that are better and healthier for you to do things. Um, yeah. And then uh, ways that are a little bit harder, but that's why we do things like Adobe Live so that you can learn about all of those aspects from different people. Yeah, it's like a creative, little creative boot camp that you guys get to watch every day. Oh yeah. Um, um, speaking I, of uh, like creative boot camp and, and creating and stuff, we've got, um, uh, less than eight minutes left until our challenge deadline, which I'm so excited for. Um, me and Shauna were uh, taking a look at the previous entries from early in the, in the day um, before we jumped on the stream, um, and I'm so thrilled to see what you guys do. It's gonna be a blast. Yeah, there's some great things. I saw someone too also asked about like what tablet I would recommend. Mm -hmm. It comes down to personal preference um, because a lot of people like the iPad Pro, a lot of people like the Surface, a lot of people like Wacom. I use the Surface Pro and I think what sold me on it was that I had 30 days to return it if I didn't like it. Oh nice. Nice. And it was it was definitely something that helped me a lot because I with Wacom it's a lot harder for me to take that jump because I can't go to a store and try it out. Mm -hmm. And I can't I felt a little weird about that myself with the Apple Pencil just kind of you Yeah. Know. I went to, and I went to the store to try the Apple Pencil, and I was like, "Oh no, nope, don't like this." <laughs> and I like, I'm pretty sure I did that in the store. I was like, "No." <laughs> and so the only reason I actually do have an Apple iPad Pro is because my mom had one and upgraded hers, and she's like, "I'm not going to get any money for this. Mm -hmm. Do you want it?" Oh, cool, cool. So I was I was fortunate because I just kind of inherited one, mm -hmm. and I it it took it was a lot of. Um, it, it was like an awkward teenage phase again where I had to sit and like force myself to sit down and learn it. Mm -hmm. But it was, it, I, like I like it. I just, I don't know if I'd buy one for myself if I didn't inherit one. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, but the Surface Pro, I do really like, I will say I did have a couple times where I had to, like I had, I had, I think I've had twice I've had to have it switched out mm -hmm. because the fan would start to go on and then it would get really hot to the touch. And it oh, was, yeah. And it was just, and it's, and I don't know about the new surfaces, um, but that's what I had for the the Pro Four. But mm -hmm. they've been really good about switching it out when they couldn't figure out what was going on. Gotcha, gotcha. So, so at least you have like that coverage where you can kind of maneuver. yeah. Um, personally, I, I I like I used the um, Surface before, and then I have the iPad, which I think is really great. Um, aside from that, I always just go with um, Wacom products for my tablets. I think you and I have the same the same yeah. uh, Wacom Cintiq uh, H thirteen HD, yeah. I believe, which is really good. Um, but the the um, 
the iPad, or not the iPad Pro, the, um, it used to be called like the, um, the 5. I can't remember what it's, it's, it has a different name now, I believe. Um, if I can... Do you know what brand footage it looked like? It's it's a it's a Wacom tablet. It's just the Intuos? Regular, yeah, the Intuos. It, it yeah, was where like you were Intuos drawing 4. down here, but looking up yeah, here. Yeah, and it's I now it's like the Intuos years. Pro, right? I think, I yeah. think. I think the new model, and that one's actually really good. That's what I had before I moved um, to Same. the the Cintiq, which was really really wonderful. So that's great too. But I, also, um, if you guys are looking to get um, tablets, I say honestly, start out with something small. You can even start out with something used, you know, just to to get something that's a little cheaper and and try it out just to see if you like it and see yeah. if that is going to be something. If your friends have one, ask to try yeah. it. You like that's how I get, or... that's how I tried the Cintiq uh, Mobile Studio. Or the Welcome Mobile Studio because at Icon Anna Davis Court, one of the other oh, yeah, residents, yeah. wonderful artist, she had one and she's like, "Do you want to try it?" And I was like, "Yes, yes. I do." <laughs> and I will say because um, Sid Weiler was there as well, and she came up to me and she's like, "You need to try it because I tried to break it and I couldn't break it." <laughs> she's like, <laughs> "That's oh. awesome." Because you know her files are like stacked on huge, stacked huge, on stacked huge, layers huge, yeah. and smart objects and like insane. And so she. She's like, I opened one of my biggest files, mm -hmm. and she goes, when I opened the smart objects, there was a little bit of lag, but mm -hmm. otherwise, she goes, it ran really well. She goes, Ooh. I tried to break it, and I couldn't break it. Wonderful, wonderful. That's so good to know. So that's always an option as well. Um, you just, it's really hard because you can't try it in store unless you live, I think, where they're, I think they're based in Portland. Oh, really? So if you're so you in Portland, in you can it. go try it in mm -hmm. their in their office. But other than that, it's kind of hard. You just got to find a friend that has one or watch a YouTube video or something, yeah, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> like Frendon does, um, yeah, Frendon does like reviews of all these different tablets. Okay. So I know a lot of people go with that Huion? Huion? I think it's Huion. Huion, yeah. I, I know a lot of people go with that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm ultimately like wanting to upgrade to that 22 inch Cintiq Pro, the mm -hmm. touchscreen one. Because That's the one I'd like to. Yeah, going between this and like 13 inch that we have, mm -hmm. it's I I can't tell you how many times I've gone on there and I'm like, why is it not zooming? I know, and then you're like, where? No, I yeah. do that all the time. I try to do my um my iPad gestures and stuff on yeah. my Cintiq, um, and then like I'm sitting there like streaming and people are like. What are you doing? And I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> oops, sorry guys. <laughs> Have you ever been drawing analog and then try to can and Z? Um, I will tell you, I use Photoshop so much, folks, that sometimes when I'm doing my makeup and I do, like, my eyebrow is uneven, <laughs> I'm, I like literally will reach for Control Z and I'm like, oh. God, how, oh. how great would that be if we could actually do that? <laughs> it would be dangerous, honestly. It would honestly. make filling our brows so much easier. So much easier, but it's 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 a it's bad. Oh. <laughs> you tried to zoom in on paper. I did that um, a couple that days ago. Uh, I was with my mom, and my mom was like, "Can you read that? I can't read that." And I went in, and I actually like did the gesture to zoom in, and she goes, "You are a nerd." <laughs> I was I like, "I'm tried sorry, to, mom." I was sketching in my sketchbook <laughs> yesterday before my flight, and I was sitting there, and I was like, "I went, I was, and I like when I sketch, I sketch really tiny." Mm -hmm. And I went to go draw, and I and I went and I did this, and I was like, wait, no, wait, no, <laughs> that's paper. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> so I just made this a little smaller so it fits the space better because I had it sort of edge to edge. Mm -hmm. um, so it makes it a little easier to kind of pull it in. Yeah, it looks way. really nice. I love that so, it goes like you use the symmetry tool to get that nice yeah um, uh, thing at the at the and bottom like, there, so it goes around with that curve. Yeah, and like because my goal is to have it to where you're like. You know, it says give us hell, and then you look at Peeves and you follow this follow that up, all yeah. the way up to where they're leaving the frame. Absolutely, yeah. I love it. So, and like I drew them yesterday. They're so cute. Look at them. What is this spare line? Where'd you come from? Oh, this may have been when this was borking on the flight. Borking. Yeah, it was borking. Um, all right, we've got a, a minute and a half um, until oh, the, the challenge submission deadline. How fun. It's on the um, background. I can okay. testify that Val does do her iPad gestures from time to time. I do it. I'm so sorry. It's, it's a it's a any it's a bad habit. Any advice on illustrating children's books? Uh, full disclosure: I've never illustrated someone's children book children's book before. Um, I'm working on one myself. I Very cool. Yeah, actually, do you want to see this? Do you want to see it? Yeah, Since absolutely. This is, is it on Behance or do you no, have it it's just on, on there? It's on my on my files. All right. Well, let's um, let's. How about we? Because we only have forty seconds until the okay. challenge submission. So while that's Doesn't going it? on, I'll pull it up and yeah, get it ready. Yeah, pull it up and then yeah. Because I think I have that. it like 
ready to go. But this is like kind of where we'll probably stop today. Mm -hmm. I may do a little bit of cleanup before we go if we have some extra time. Okay. Um, but yeah, so we have like giver hell for us peeves. And what's gonna happen is with color, it's gonna help kind of pop the elements so that they don't end up kind of like meshing together, or not mm -hmm. meshing, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Sort of kind of like melding? Yes, that's yeah. the word. So that they don't like all blend. Mm -hmm. So um, I, get, I get money. Um, and we we do just have a handful here, so you may actually end up getting um, a little more time okay. uh, to go through um, and do that. Um, but I would really also like to see, like to go over the illustrations that you have too um, for the, the children's book, which yeah. I am so I'm it's so really proud. cute. So it's be great. I'm actually um, pretty proud of it. I just have to like, there's a couple more spreads I gotta finish. Mm -hmm. um, but it's about my mom's dog, Simon. She's, oh. she's got this, if she's watching, she's probably freaking out right now. <laughs> but um, it's he's, he's this little nine pound mini Yorkie with little pointy ears. Mm -hmm. And so he's really fun to draw. Like I snuck him into the Samsung project. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Um, he's in the- it, I'm sure they didn't mind. No, I don't think they didn't realize. But it's in the more more room for pictures of your dog picture. Aww. And, uh, but so it's a, uh, a story about him exploring Chicago. Very cool. So I was having fun, so I was like, I just have this idea and I wanna get it on paper. And I was like, I have to like actually sit down and make it a little more coherent. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I could self-publish it or something, cause it'd be cute. Oh yeah, absolutely. I can't wait to see it. I, I bet yeah. it's gonna be awesome. Um, How right. do you find a rep? So I was with my rep until a year ago, um, or just over a year ago. I was, I, and I parted ways because we just sort of kind of outgrew each other. Um, but when I was initially looking for a rep, I looked at the artists that, I looked at different, I Googled artist reps, and I looked at like the artists they were, um, that they were repping, the styles that were there, like if your style is very clean and everyone else is very textural, like it's not gonna be a match for you, they're not gonna take you on. Mm -hmm. But a lot of it is like reaching out to them, seeing if you're gonna be a good fit. Um, I had a lot of no's before I got a yes, and it's, and you know, and you also, you wanna make sure that if there's someone on the roster whose work already looks like yours, you're not gonna get taken on because they don't want competition on their roster. Mm, gotcha. So then like I, right now I'm, I am looking <clears throat> for another rep currently, and then, you know, and it's gonna take time cause I wanna find the right one and I want it to be a smaller roster of people okay. so that I'm not, I don't feel like I'm competing with my roster mm -hmm. because with the one that I was on, it was 150 people, which oh, is a man. lot of people on a roster. Yeah, but it was there was a lot of that's a lot of stuff to maneuver around too. Yeah. If you're not trying to, yeah. When I first was when I was first introduced to the to the to the roster, it I was the only one doing my thing, mm -hmm. and then over about the two three years that I was with them, there were a few people that were kind of encroaching into that. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if, I don't think it was intentional. It just kind of was what was happening. And so it made it very, um, it was, a, it was a little awkward at times. A little, a little cramped, a little A little awkward, cramped. Yeah. It kind of felt like I was competing with people that I should have been like lifting up. Yeah, it should have been your, your friends and your, your, your coworkers. Yeah. yeah. I can so, see that. But at the, you know, at the same time, like I, I still love the agents I worked with. Mm -hmm. They had my back. They saved me from a lot of, you know, quite a few like nightmare clients because I had one that was just off the walls crazy. Yeah, sometimes, and sometimes that happens. <laughs> so it's, it's really good to have someone like in your ballpark. Mm -hmm. But also, if you're, you know, if you're on your own and you want to, like, I've heard this advice or like make a second um, email that connects to your email. So it's just mm -hmm. like an alias and it's like billing at blah, blah, blah com. Yeah, yeah. And so like, cause I have shaunalyn.com so I could do like, you know, billing at shaunalyn.com and mm -hmm. they can just be like, hello, you're late on your invoice, please paint up. So yeah. So, so it, it looks, doesn't sound yeah. like it's me. It's like a robot kind of messaging yeah. them like, hey. So it sounds like it's more than just me. Mm -hmm. um, do I design my own fonts? Yes, I do. Ignore this little guy in the corner. It's it's picking. It's cleaning up some RAM. Um, well, we're actually going to switch so. over um, pretty soon, though. Okay. So cool. We'll, yeah, because um, we're going to look at um, some awesome uh, challenge entries. Um, this Sweet. these are really awesome, guys. This is from um, from Robzilla. Robzilla in the house. Um, and again, the yeah. the theme, everything that we're working on today is um, going along the lines of cr uh, kind of combining um, animals and humans together, which is really cool. But this is like a like a goldfish woman. 
which is the really cool. on her. Yeah, it, and, and I love how she's like kind of like Molly like dancing too. or yeah, kind of kind of. I like uh, I like that the fish kind of look like space rockets. They kind of was do, that yeah. intentional? Because they've we've got the moon there, so it's almost like it's, she's Ooh. on another world or something Rockets. even. Um, nice, Rob. Very cool. Robzilla. Uh, yeah, and then uh, this is uh, from Ashley uh, Palka, and Ooh. it kind of looks like uh, like an anemone. Of I was going to say that it looks like coral or a sea anemone. Yeah. Anemone. 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 And she's also got like these like I really love the. Um, Scale. The scale texture, yeah. yeah. That's Very like cool. the ultimate highlight blush. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's kind of like the thing in Sephora, our Mecca. <laughs> that was like Kathleen came in and was like, she's got that Anastasia highlight going on. And I was like, oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Looking good, girl. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, we got, we've also got um, some repeats from last time okay. that we can just kind of glance at that were just like really, really lovely. That um, one I love. Yeah. That. The, the, um, uh, eyelashes there and like the side thing is just really mm -hmm. pretty. It kind of reminds me of like the um, 50s like flapper like kind of stuff that they used to put in their hair with the feathers yeah. and everything, um, which was really neat. Um, and so that was from Jay. Um, and then Cheryl Howard um, oh. coming in with this lovely, um, looks like beta tail um, kind it, of thing going on. It almost looks like a beautiful wrapped scarf. Exactly, yeah. It looks just really, really cool. And is this you, Cheryl? Is this a picture of yourself that you've used for this? Because um, this is really cool. The colors are like, yeah, just really cool. Rachel says, I'm really tempted to join this challenge just to mash my face with my bird's face. Do it. Do it, please. You've got two more shots today. Do it. <laughs> please do that. We would love to see that. And for those of you guys who are just coming in who um, don't actually know um, what we're what we're doing as far as um, these entries and stuff, we've got a challenge going on um, that is open uh, to all of you guys. Um, if you um, check out the challenge tab above the chat pod, you guys can um, get uh, all the details you need for um, the uh, guidelines and, and how to enter. Um, but basically what's going to happen is we're going to go through all of the awesome submissions every segment. Um, and then uh, after the streams today, uh, one of you lucky entrants uh, will be chosen to win a year of Creative Cloud, which is actually super fantastic. Um, yeah. So we're just going to we're going to keep uh, yeah. kind of chugging along here. Um, oh, this is from Osama. This is really cool. This is like That's lovely. Yeah, and it, it's almost like like his wings are kind of coming apart here, but there's also yeah. like a, another like a bird up here. Look at all um, the people freaking out. The wowsies. A whole year. A whole year. <laughs> a whole year. <laughs> but work beckons me. Well, don't worry, Rachel. Um, we actually have uh, two more segments after mm -hmm. this. Um, and then we will be live tomorrow as well um, with a brand new challenge um, yep. that you can uh, maybe enter. And I like. mean, nothing's stopping you from making it after it's all done, mm -hmm. too. You can yeah. still make one. It just won't be eligible to win. Mm -hmm. Well, I always say, you know, it for, for these challenges, it's kind of a win-win situation because even yeah. if you enter and like you enter you win you get the creative cloud if you enter and you don't win or you don't finish it in time you can still put it into your portfolio as yeah. a representation of work so um yeah. we've oh. also got this awesome you one said, from you zoom in on the images yeah, i don't believe that we can zoom in totally can you oh there we go we can there. we can kind of do it a little bit that's about as much as we can yeah. as we can do this one i'm in love with this is awesome from Ooh, nat that's lovely. Yeah. i love the use of the geometric too. And, yeah and the skin is just absolutely gorgeous and the contrast with that Wait. green is fantastic oh that's a person yes it's a person kind of like wrapped in there oh. and it's just gorgeous i also love if you notice it looks like there's uh alligator spines like yeah. the tail of a gator here which just uh I'm Gators loving are it. Fun. I have a resident gator in my complex. His name's Leopold. That's terrifying. He's, he's just like, a dinosaur walking he's, around. He's like two feet long. His head's like oh, he's this two feet. big. Okay. He's a teeny when thing. When they're small, they do make that small cat noise that like breaks oh. my heart. Yeah. The, I was going to do it, but I was like, maybe not the place. But you did it, yeah. so I'm glad that you did. Thank he's, you. Yeah. He, he's just been in the lake because everyone's upset, but they, they can't. Florida Fish and Wildlife won't remove them mm -hmm. if it's under four feet or it's causing a nuisance. Gotcha, because then it's kind of like re removing like a raccoon, basically, the yeah. same size. Well, a raccoon with uh, velociraptor teeth, but yeah. no big deal. Right now he's <laughs> eating like small fish and frogs. Terrifying, so. 
terrifying. <laughs> I'm so scared of them. <laughs> he can't do any damage, honestly. But don't if you live in Florida, don't let your dogs near lakes. Just yeah, not probably not a good idea. If there's a lake in Florida, you assume that there's a gator. If it's a big lake, it's a big gator. If it's a puddle, it's a mini gator. Oh man. You just assume, like just on principle. Yeah. Oh man. Well, those were our um, challenge submissions so far. They are beautiful. Well done, everyone. Um, I'm very excited to see uh, what you guys come up with for the next segment and the segment after that. Um, and as I said before, after 3 p.m. Pacific um, today, uh, one lucky uh, challenger will be messaged um, uh, for the, you know, with the winning information. Um, and then tomorrow morning, um, we will be sure to announce to everybody um, yes. who actually won. So. And in all that, um, I forgot to pull up the the story. So give me one second. Oh, no problem. Over. It's very distracting though, all this wonderful work. <laughs> it's such lovely work. I think this is it. Okay, so I'm just gonna open all of these and I may give my surface a heart attack, but it's open. Oh yeah, all right. So maybe we can switch over to Shauna. Look how cute he is! They're adorable, look at them. He cheered the bears, cubs, and blackhawks. Oh, I love it. So we then that's Mr. Simon. He's. He's adorable and annoying. I love his little his little upper lip that it was yeah. so scruffy. That's Very I mean that's cute. what he looks like. I showed you pictures of him last night. Oh yeah, like he looks he looks like that, and he's got like a little overbite thing happening. So he's a sweet baby boy. He just looks ridiculous. <laughs> he's so he's very sweet, but he's also he doesn't know how to growl. Oh, he yeah, never, that's right. You told yeah, me. he never learned how to growl, and we're not sure how. So like he, he, if he's angry at any of the other dogs, he goes. <laughs> And he's I'm like a small dog goat. It's like basically. a gremlin, and he like <laughs> bears his teeth, and he looks, like, he just looks evil. He's like really, really upset and trying to convey that to you with yeah. the only thing he knows how to do. But he lives with three other, do well, two other dogs, soon to be three when I get up there. So you'd think he'd learn, maybe. Maybe, but maybe he hasn't. Maybe he's trying to be edgy. He's just trying to be, he's trying to be new and hip, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, it didn't open all of them. Are they all downloading? Is that what's happening? Oh no, I get what I see what happened. Then we're gonna we're gonna right click, we're gonna open with Don't let the dogs out from Zombie Army. Uh Anel is gonna be in the next stream. Awesome, I can't wait. Uh what are your favorite books about illustration in general? Um favorite books about illustration in general? I, I always dig like the, the concept art books and stuff. Yeah. I'm always looking through those. What about you? I I don't have a I don't necessarily have a ton of illustration books. Mm -hmm. I collect I collect children's books. Mm -hmm. So like my top favorite one is called Hot Jazz Special by Johnny Never Hanna. Heard of it. It's like it's not in print anymore, mm -hmm. and you can find them on Amazon occasionally. I just one of my friends just had a baby, and I bought it for her Aww. Um, because it's one of those where it's just that beautiful, mm -hmm. and um, and it's it's like I mean so much texture, so much movement. It's like. When I first saw it, I was like, this is what I want my illustrations to grow up to be. Because mm -hmm. awesome. they were just that good. Mm -hmm. And so ultimately, like, I collect kids' books to, for inspiration. I mm -hmm. have a lot of those, like the Art of Disney books. Oh, very it's cool, It's like the yeah. Art of Frozen, the Art mm -hmm. of Tangled, the Art of Big Hero, stuff like that. That's what I, 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 I do those. that for video games, basically. It's yeah. Like... And then um, I have a lot of lettering books. Mm. That yeah, I have a lot of. You showed those on Twitch, all of your like your favorite lettering books and stuff. We got to see yeah. some really cool stuff. I have a, I have one from like 1940. Mm -hmm. It was no, that one's from 1927. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, that one. And I was like, what? It's in my hurricane box still because I was mm -hmm. like, because when in Florida you have to have a hurricane box mm -hmm. for hurricane season. It's just like a you know a snapshot Tupperware, mm -hmm. so that you. And it's basically like anything that you can't replace. Mm -hmm. And that that's a book I could replace, but it would take like $500 to, and I happened to find it for like $60. Mm -hmm. So and, you don't wanna. And like the weird crazy thing was that there's an address, like a name and an address in there, and my neighbor grew up down the road from that family. Wow. And it was like Small from world. like West Virginia or somewhere. Small like, world. Cause she looked at the address, she's like, I know his grandkids. I grew up down the road. I'm like, where? What? <laughs> what? How? <laughs> so I have so a crazy. lot of like vintage books that I love, and I'll mm -hmm. I'll find. I try to find those for inspiration, but also a lot of the Louis Feely and Stephen mm -hmm. Heller books. Very um, cool. And she's like, Louis Feely has some out where it's all facade, like building facades and signage from like she's got one about it from Italy, one mm -hmm. from France, one from Spain, um, and it's just uh, you know it's just 
tons of inspiration. So cool. I, I go with those. Mm -hmm. And then they're starting to republish a lot of these books that are like older and out mm -hmm. of print. Probably because of people like you who are like yeah. hunting for all of those old printed yeah. things. So like the Studio Wella one, you can find it on archive.org, which is that mm -hmm. one that I, that I showed on the stream, the really old one. Yeah. Um, it's called Studio Wello and it's, and it's, um, you can actually buy a modern republished copy of it. It's missing, like they didn't publish the whole thing. It's like half of the book. Um, but the whole book is like hand lettered, so it's really cool to see. Am I typing that in properly? Studio W E L O. Let's see if um, I can find that. Hannah, I'm Shauna, I'm gonna need you to post pictures of these books when you get home. If you go to my Pinterest, I actually do have a like a um, board called my bookcase and it's like a listing of like all my books. Studio Wello, it's W E L O. So you go on like archive.org and search that, you'll find it. Um, yeah, so studio, if you go, um, what is it? I'm trying to remember like the full name of the book, but if you look up Samuel Wallow. Okay, maybe we can do that. Do you want me to look it up in here? Yeah, or? that okay. should bring it up. Cause it's a beautiful PDF book. Um, in the meantime, like here's more Simon. And that's Bailey, my sister's golden. Yeah. So I snuck her in. I've, I've made it a thing where I'm gonna sneak all four dogs into the into the book with Simon. Uh -huh. That's it. Oh, wow. Yeah, and you can uh, download the PDF. Very cool. So like I have a backup PDF to be safe. But, this is amazing. Yeah, and it's, I mean, just. Just tons, all kinds of stuff. So much inspiration. Ugh. And like there's a whole page of ampersands like this. It's just gorgeous monograms. Oh, wow. And, um, it's, I mean, it's it's fantastic. And uh, if you go to uh, shaunalyn.com, at the very bottom, I have links to all my social media. Can I actually go oh, and yeah. scroll through here down to the bottom? Yeah, so. And there's your, wait. Oh, oh, oh. It's like right there. Yeah. Here. She's hiding it. But yeah, there's a um, Pinterest link there. Um, and you guys also should definitely check out shaunalyn.com because it's a beautiful, wonderful website. Yeah. I got lost in it earlier, just like going through all of the yeah. different things until I realized, oh, what was I doing? Thank <laughs> you, Tim. Um, but yeah, this this hand lettering book is fantastic. It's incredible. And like you can download a PDF copy and it's, it's phenomenal. Very cool, very cool. So, and then, yeah, so I also have um, some more like, this one's like in progress, so it looks kind of weird because I'm not, I've not finished Bailey. Oh, I love it though. Called up his friend Bailey, how sweet. And that was, and the one that follows that is that he called up his friend Bailey and together they built a snowman. Aww, my heart. Um, that is a delicious yeah. looking hot dog, let me just say. Dude, Chicago dogs are so good. Oh man. I get them without tomato and without sport pepper because I love the sport peppers, but they make me sick. I'm, I'm not a fan of tomato. Me either. It's, it's like my kryptonite kind of. Yeah. It's like not. Tomato and like unless it's pizza. Yeah, basically. That's okay. Unless it's but pizza. like, like sliced tomato and cucumber, offend me. <laughs> <laughs> offensive, offensive vegetables and fruits. Yes. Um, how do you deal with artist block? That's a fantastic oh, um, question. That's um, a that's a loaded one because yeah. like for me. I tr when I have artist block, that's when I force myself to draw more. Really? Yeah, and um, someone agrees with me that cucumbers are the worst. <laughs> um, Lindsay Palmer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and here's where I snuck in Lola, and her her name is in this one. So cute. Um, but so like, a lot of times, the what I do force myself to do is when I have artist block, is I step away from the computer. Mm -hmm. I will pull out a sketchbook. I'll get a pen. I'll do something. I'll try to draw analog. Mm -hmm. And I just draw everything, even if it looks like crud. Even if it's just garbage, just yeah. go for it. And I, I, you just draw and draw and draw until it starts to pop out. Because sometimes what ends up happening is like, it's not really an artist's block. Mm -hmm. It's just you've been inundated with too much stuff mm -hmm. and you need to like mind dump it. Or yeah, we're doing like the same thing over and over again, kind of break the mold yeah. a little bit. For me, I actually, um, Listen to audiobooks while yeah. I work. Yep, I listen to listen to audiobooks, um, and then I like if I'm working on some, especially if like I'm in a block and I yeah. have to get like client work done and I don't have time okay. to like get up and step away. Yeah, um, I some I like I find that if I listen to like a really good audiobook, 
I usually sci-fi fantasy because right. I'm a nerd, you know. Um, I, I find that I'm sitting there. Ones. Very cool, very yeah. cool. I, I find that when I sit down and do that, though, um, I'm there like more for the story, you know, yeah. almost like watching a movie without having to have your eyes on the screen for it, you know. That's smart. Um, and then the art kind of flows like second nature, like it just kind of happens. Because then I'm not yeah. there like, oh man, I have to draw this thing. Yeah. I'm um, there listening to something cool. Yeah, a lot of it too, I think, is getting outside of your head. Because mm -hmm. yeah. like if you can go into just sort of a, a tr it's almost like a trance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you just let yourself draw for the sake of drawing and you try not to think about it. Like it's stream of consciousness drawing is mm -hmm. what it is. Yep. And you just let it happen. You'll occasionally like you'll get out of that. Like I have some days where like if I'll, I'll try that and if it's not working, that's when I just put it away and I, I step away. Mm -hmm. um, and I start fresh the next day. Very cool. Or like I'll grab, I'll grab my dog Teddy and I'll go take him on a walk and then I'll try again. And then if that's still not working, then I just say, you know what, calling it done for the day, mm -hmm. I'll do admin stuff that mm -hmm. I need to get done. Yeah, and and uh, taking your dog on a walk, getting fresh air and stuff is always really good. I've actually got a checklist yeah. um, that I do where if I'm sitting there and I'm like, uh, kind of like dreading what I'm working on, my yeah. checklist is, have I eaten recently? Am I hydrated? Do I need to stretch? Yeah. Do I need fresh air? When's the last time I got sun on my skin? Yeah. You know, like, and go I, out and kind of. Sun is a huge thing. Like when I, mm -hmm. I was telling Val last night, we we were, um, I earlier this year was dealing with like a lot of exhaustion and I to a degree still am, but I got blood work done and I found out my vitamin D was very, very low. Mm -hmm. Which is probably easy if you like you're somebody who freelances or yeah. you, know, you know. I don't I don't go out in the sun much. It's really hot in Florida. Mm -hmm. I don't like walking outside and feeling like I need like I need to shower yeah. after walking outside for five, five minutes. minutes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so and as you can see, like I am I am very pale. And so it is very clear that I really don't get in the sun much. Mm -hmm. And because I, I burn mm -hmm. and I don't want to spend time applying sunscreen just to for walk outside. For the 20 minutes that you actually have to like yeah. be out there. <laughs> but like low vitamin D can contribute to that sort of thing because oh, it, it makes you, it'll make your brain very fuzzy. Mm -hmm. Like I felt like I was sort of in a fog for mm -hmm. several months until I finally started taking vitamin D supplements, which I did not take this morning. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. But it's all it's all very important. And it, it, also, is. it all goes really, you know, hand in hand with, with being like, an artist. You yeah. Know? Like you have to take care of your health. Mm -hmm. You have to get up and stretch. Like there's a... At Icon, there was a book I, I came across, and someone like made essentially like a book zine about how to take care of your body uh, as an artist. That's and it was awesome. like all these like hand stretches yeah. you do, mm -hmm. and um, making sure that you get up and you do stretch. Mm -hmm. You try to walk around a lot, like get blood flowing. I tend to sit like a pretzel a lot when I work. Mm -hmm. Which, so, speaking of which, didn't you? Oh have? gosh, <laughs> should I should yes. I show? <laughs> yes, this is a good one. Let me see if I can um, find it's on it. the oh, Behance. It's on Behance. Yeah, I don't think I have it on my website yet, but it is on Behance. I sit like a pretzel. Yep, not me. And the speaking of, all, of all other like quirky artist things, yeah, look angry when I draw. Yeah, Shauna and I both look like something has wronged us. <laughs> Someone has wronged us horribly, and we are like contemplating our revenge. Basically, yes. we get to to painting and drawing. <laughs> yes, exactly. And and like I can't say how many times my mom's like, "What's wrong?" And I'm like, "Nothing." She was, you look angry. I'm like, it's just my face. Yeah, <laughs> basically people on stream are like, are you having a bad day, Val? And yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? I What's going to... on, guys? And oh, they're like, gosh. you look like when someone I... did something bad. I know, when I streamed for Adobe it, on Twitch, it mm -hmm. was like, it was constant. Cause I was, I'd have to, I, I would always be like checking my face. Cause mm -hmm. like, like I have the glasses on now, so it kind of mm -hmm. blocks everything. But like, I have, you know, I, I do fill my brows because they're blonde. Mm -hmm. So they otherwise don't show up. Mm -hmm. And but occasionally like I get this like scowl thing happening oh, yeah. when I'm concentrating and I'm like this. Mm -hmm. And I and I and and I don't realize it and all of a sudden I'm like, oh Yeah, the I've, villain brow. The, yeah, the, the villain brow. That's basically, yep, yep. So, but also, like, if you, uh, self-care, computer glasses. Oh, yes, that's what I need um, to invest in. Yeah, these are blue light reflecting. So they're not prescription. They just have, like, blue light lenses, mm -hmm. and it makes such a difference. And Very it, nice. I end up, like, not with tired eyes as often. Uh, I, I think we're actually, I think we are actually wrapping it up here pretty soon. Um, and we've got Paul's feet are six feet up in the air. He's doing handstands and stuff. He cannot wait wait to get on here um, and start his segment. Um, so yeah. are, we, are, we, are we shutting it off? What brand, it down now? Uh, what brand are these ones? It's called Firmu, F-I-R-M-O-O.com. Very cool. Oh, man. Yeah. Sponsor me. 
No. <laughs> but yeah, it was really, really fun. Yes, um, it was so awesome. Um, we're just going to go over the schedule again um, real quick. Uh, we had an awesome um, Adobe uh, XD Creative Challenge um, stream earlier with Melissa Blair. Um, and then we had uh, Timmy um, Carker, which was awesome. We just got done um, with uh, Shauna Lynn here and some awesome Harry Potter um, illustrations. Next yeah. is going to be a Jake Armstrong, which I'm super excited um, to, to watch. We can see everybody yes. in the studio. Um, and then I'll be back uh, later today um, with Reza. It's gonna be gonna be awesome. Yeah. And do some comic illustrations. Exactly. And, stuff, and so. so tomorrow I'll end up like blocking in color for mm -hmm. this guy, and we'll work some more on on give her hell peeves. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for it. Yeah, I'm, I've been I really am too. I think the sketches. So it'll be fun to see kind of how this how this plays out for the next couple days. It's gonna be awesome. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be gonna be a blast. Um, and also we're gonna be live for the next couple of days too. Mm -hmm. um, so if you guys yeah, uh, missed the in. challenge or, or or anything, you guys can check it out in the next segment. Um, um, and come back tomorrow for a new challenge and portfolio reviews on uh, Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. I appreciate yes. it, dude. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll, we'll see you tomorrow. I know. It's going to be fun.